see what we're into tonight we are getting ready to build our sliding door finally this is something that we talked about doing years ago when I started building this project that I wanted to do a couple of sliding doors but as always the plans change as you go so really what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing one big slider possibly putting a man door in it I'm not sure yet I really don't it may not even be necessary right here but uh, we've got the first section to track up we're going to keep going on it. I'm going to get you guys a little better close-up shots of getting the rest of it on. I just had to kind of think it out before. Believe it or not, with all the building I've done, I've never put one of these up before. So this is a first for me. But anyway, stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it. You know, we got a nice coupling to put on here, but I'm going to have to loosen this guy up. You know, maybe a couple of them. That's tight. There we go. Always a learning curve with stuff like this for me, especially if I've never done it before. Heck of an echo out here tonight. Well, it looks like we've got a couple of tabs that slide in a little loop up here. Oh gee, that was that was terribly hard. I see where screws go into it, but we're not. I don't know if we're going to be. I don't know. We'll see. I get a feeling by the time we get all this stuff on, it's not really going to matter. Now, these right here look pretty self-explanatory. What a nice, easy system. There we go. Tell you the sad part is I just had everything out here in front of this building inside the building I had it nice and clean and now it's just as bad as it always is I think I'm one of the messiest project people I know to be quite honest with you Well, I tell you what, this lift would have been super handy to have when we were building the barn, wouldn't it? It would have been awesome. So we're putting these in with inch and a half long quarter inch galvanized legs. Um, my brother-in-law actually gave me these tracks. He took them off of his building. Looks like he used a long self-tapper on them at one point. Well, this is kind of... I'll get a little closer. Tell you what, this lift allowed me to get so much done so fast on this. Never would have thought it possible. Alrighty. Somebody could have had his level and his... Well, at least I got my drill on me and presence of mind enough to do that. Nice. Right on the money. I like it when that happens here.
Alrighty, there's one. Kind of. Can you see alright? I hope so. And this is kind of the easiest way I know of to do this. Without killing ourselves. The first couple boards that are always a pain on something like this. And then once you got something you can hold against, it's not so bad. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here, we're going to do a double layered door. We're going to actually put a layer of tar paper on these boards after and then another layer of boards on the outside. And uh, the way the wind hits the side of the building, for one we don't want all that rainwater leaking in. And the other thing, I just I don't want a wind tunnel in here. Because we've, uh, we've had enough wind tunnel here over the years. Don't really have any hankering for more. And I also have a motto I like to call it, screw the piss out of everything. Because at least I know if I do that it's not coming apart on me. At least it always makes sense to me anyway. Well, if you can tell looking behind me, we've made a lot of progress. I apologize for not getting a video out quicker. <clears throat> but I've had some wicked computer troubles, and unfortunately I had to buy a new one. Just came in today, so I'm going to edit this tonight. And uh, you guys will get to see what's going on. But let's step back, take a look. 
So we finally have a real light on the outside of this thing. We finally have a real door on the outside of that thing. One that the wind's not going to take and just destroy. I'm very happy with this. We can start getting stuff cleaned up. We can get ready for the winter now. And that's wicked important. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch you on the next one.